On April 28, 1988, a Boeing 737 took off from Hilo International Airport, Hawaii. The day started like any other, with passengers boarding the aircraft, unaware of the events that would soon unfold. The Aloha Airlines Flight 243 was headed to Honolulu. It was a familiar route for many, a short hop between the islands, often taken for business or leisure. It was a routine inter-island flight. The passengers settled into their seats, some reading, others chatting, while the flight attendants began their service. On board were 89 passengers and six crew members. Among them were families, tourists and regular commuters, each with their own story and destination. The flight was expected to be short, just a quick 35-minute journey across the beautiful Hawaiian archipelago. No one knew that this ordinary day would turn into a fight for survival. At cruising altitude, a loud bang shattered the calm and the cabin was suddenly exposed to the open sky. This is the story of Aloha Airlines Flight 243, a story that would be etched into the annals of aviation history. It is the story of a catastrophic mechanical failure. The fuselage had torn apart, leaving the passengers and crew in a dire situation. It is a story of remarkable courage. The pilots, with nerves of steel, managed to control the aircraft, while the flight attendants, despite the chaos, ensured the safety of the passengers. It is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. Against all odds, the crew and passengers banded together, demonstrating extraordinary bravery and solidarity in the face of imminent danger. The plane made an emergency landing at Kahului Airport, where emergency response teams were ready to assist. The incident left an indelible mark on everyone involved, a reminder of the fragility of life and the strength of the human spirit. Today, we remember the heroes of Flight 243, whose quick thinking and bravery saved countless lives. Their story continues to inspire and remind us of the power of courage and resilience. The flight took off at 1.25 p.m. The weather was clear. The ascent was smooth. Passengers settled into their seats. Some were reading. Some were looking forward to landing in Honolulu. At around 24,000 feet, a loud whooshing sound ripped through the cabin. A section of the fuselage tore off. The plane experienced explosive decompression. An 18-foot-long section of the roof was gone. The cabin was exposed to the elements. Passengers were instantly vulnerable to the forces of wind and air pressure. The sudden decompression was violent. It was as if the very air inside the cabin had turned against the passengers, creating a scene of utter chaos and panic. Passengers and loose objects were tossed around like rag dolls. The force of the decompression was so intense that it felt like being inside a giant washing machine, with people and belongings being thrown in every direction. The cabin was filled with debris and deafening noise. The sound of the wind howling through the gaping hole in the fuselage was almost unbearable, drowning out the screams and cries of the terrified passengers. The force ripped off a large part of the roof. The structural integrity of the aircraft was compromised, leaving a massive hole that exposed the passengers to the elements. Passengers were exposed to the open sky, the sudden exposure to the high-altitude atmosphere caused a rapid drop in temperature, making the situation even more dire. Some passengers were literally blown out of the airplane. The sheer force of the decompression was enough to pull people out of their seats and into the void. Inside the cockpit, Captain Robert Schornsteimer and First Officer Madeline Mimi Tompkins struggled to control the aircraft. Their training and experience were put to the ultimate test as they fought to keep the plane from spiralling out of control. The sudden decompression was a shock. It happened so quickly that there was no time to react, leaving everyone on board in a state of stunned disbelief. The plane was difficult to control. The damage to the aircraft made it incredibly unstable, and the pilots had to use all their skill to keep it from crashing. They knew they had a major emergency on their hands. The situation was critical, and every second counted as they worked to bring the plane to a safe landing. Flight attendant Clarabel C.B. Lansing was severely injured. She was almost swept out of the plane. She held onto a seat back. Other flight attendants bravely secured loose objects. They calmed terrified passengers. They prepared them for an emergency landing, 
Their courage and quick thinking helped prevent further chaos. They provided comfort in a terrifying situation. Their actions were critical in saving lives. Section 5, Race Against Time, The Emergency Landing. The pilots had to land the plane quickly. They were battling the elements. The plane was difficult to control. They made contact with Kahului Airport on the island of Maui. The crew prepared the passengers for an emergency landing. At 1.58 p.m., just 13 minutes after the decompression, the pilots executed an incredible landing. The plane, severely damaged, came to a stop. The emergency response team was ready. They immediately started tending to the injured. Section 6. A glimmer of hope. One life lost, many saved. Tragically, flight attendant C.B. Lansing was swept out of the plane. Despite a thorough search, her body was never recovered. 65 passengers suffered injuries. Some were minor, some were serious. The fact that there was only one fatality was nothing short of miraculous. The incident shocked the world. The images of the mangled aircraft were a stark reminder of the power of nature and the importance of aviation safety. Section 7. Searching for answers, the investigation begins. The National Transportation Safety Board, or NTSB, launched an immediate investigation. They wanted to know what caused the catastrophic failure. The investigation was thorough. They analyzed the wreckage. They interviewed the crew and passengers. They looked into the airline's maintenance records. The investigation took months. The findings were shocking. They exposed serious flaws in aircraft maintenance practices. Section 8, Metal Fatigue, The Silent Threat. The NTSB determined that the primary cause of the incident was metal fatigue. The aircraft was 19 years old. It had undergone numerous takeoffs and landings. These cycles put stress on the fuselage. Over time, this stress caused microscopic cracks. These cracks grew larger with each flight. The humid environment in Hawaii accelerated the corrosion. The NTSB also found maintenance shortcomings. Inspections had missed the growing cracks. The incident highlighted a critical need for stricter safety regulations. Section 9, a wake-up call. Aviation safety redefined the Aloha Airlines flight. 243 incident was a turning point for aviation safety. It led to significant changes in aircraft inspection and maintenance procedures. The FAA implemented more rigorous inspection programs. They focused on aging aircraft. They developed new methods to detect metal fatigue. They mandated the use of stronger materials in aircraft construction. These changes made air travel safer. They helped prevent similar incidents. Section 10, the legacy of flight 243. Remembering and learning. The story of Aloha Airlines. Flight 243 is not just a chapter in aviation history, it is a profound lesson in human resilience and the relentless pursuit of safety. The story of Aloha Airlines Flight 243 is a powerful reminder of the importance of aviation safety. On April 28, 1988, the aircraft suffered an explosive decompression, tearing away a large portion of the fuselage. Despite the catastrophic damage, the crew managed to land the plane safely, saving the lives of 89 passengers and crew members. The incident led to life-saving changes in the industry. It prompted a thorough review of aircraft maintenance procedures, particularly focusing on the inspection of older aircraft. The aviation industry learned valuable lessons about metal fatigue and the importance of regular, detailed inspections. It is also a testament to the courage of the crew and passengers. Captain Robert Schornsteiner and First Officer Mimi Tompkins displayed exceptional skill and composure under extreme pressure. Their quick thinking and decisive actions were crucial in ensuring the safe landing of the aircraft. They faced a terrifying situation with bravery and resilience. The passengers, despite their fear, followed the crew's instructions, which was vital for their survival. This incident underscores the importance of crew training and passenger awareness in emergency situations. The incident serves as a lasting lesson. It has been studied extensively in aviation training programs around the world. Pilots, engineers and safety personnel continue to learn from the events of that day 
ensuring that such an incident never happens again. It teaches us to never take safety for granted. Every flight, every safety check and every maintenance procedure is a step towards ensuring the safety of everyone on board. The legacy of Flight 243 is a constant reminder of the stakes involved in aviation. It highlights the importance of continuous improvement in aviation. The advancements in aircraft technology, the rigorous safety protocols and the ongoing training of aviation professionals all stem from the lessons learned from past incidents. The industry is always evolving, always striving to be safer. The legacy of Flight 243 lives on in the safer skies we enjoy today. Every time we board a plane, we are beneficiaries of the hard-earned lessons from that fateful day. The courage, the resilience and the relentless pursuit of safety continue to inspire and guide the aviation industry.